Iron Man was one of the most popular trailers of last summer, but controversy is sweeping the fan community today. Following the announcement that Paramount Pictures is planning to adapt the beloved trailer into a feature-length motion picture. Here to discuss the details is Entertainment Weekly writer Rory Covey. Rory, good to see you again. I take it there's some uh, mixed reaction to this news. You what bet. are they going to do? Uh, the Iron Man trailer is near and dear to a lot of fans' hearts, so you can imagine how worried people are about this news. Apparently, the plan is to expand that fast montage of very short shots seen in the trailer into full-length, distinct scenes. And in between those scenes, they plan to add additional scenes that weren't right, in the trailer. It just doesn't seem like that would work. That's right. The fact is, it's very difficult to make the character story action that work in a 90-second format also work when they're stretched out to 80 or 90 minutes. Why do you think the trailer was so popular? Well, it does tell an amazing story, Michael. A cocksure billionaire industrialist and inventor is kidnapped, but turns on his captors by designing an amazing mechanized suit of armor, ultimately becoming a hero to the world. It is a breathtaking 90-second thrill ride. Surely then, Paramount realizes the tremendous financial risk of alienating the trailer's core fan base if they don't embrace the film properly. Exactly, and, and that's right. why the studio has tried to reassure the public that everything that they love about the trailer will be incorporated into the movie adaptation right down to actual lines from the trailer. And they are bringing Robert Downey Jr. back to reprise his role as Tony well, Stark. Well, there would have been a real outcry if they had tried to cast someone else. Yes, but that doesn't quell everyone's fears over whether the integrity of the trailer is in danger. For instance, the red-headed woman played by Gwyneth Paltrow. Who's great. She is great, and fans love her three quarters of a second role. I mean, what if they gave her more lines or more scenes? Mm -hmm. I mean, who knows what they'll put in there uh, between the point where he breaks out of the lab in the suit and the point where he flies in front of those jets. What if they put in a tedious romantic subplot that was 20 or 30 minutes long? That doesn't sound good. No. Well, I guess uh, we'll all be waiting to see how it actually turns out. Yes. Luckily for us, Paramount has announced that it plans to release the movie in theaters along with a group of eight entirely new entertainment pack trailers to screen before the film, so even if the movie is no good, hopefully the trip to the theater will be worth it anyway. Rory Covey, thanks for being with us today. We'll Thank see you, you later on. Okay. In Seattle today, a man has bruised 23 people in a punching spree.